In this lesson, I'll show you two examples on how to write equations for acid-base reactions involving a strong acid. Question one reads, write a molecular and net ionic equation for the reaction between HI and aqueous BaOH2. HI is the formula for hydroiodic acid, and BaOH2 is the formula for barium hydroxide. Now when you mix an acid and a base together, the two products you end up with is a salt and water. So let's write that down. We have HI mixing with BaOH2, and we know that this will form a salt plus water. That being said, we have to figure out what our salt will be. Now, if we're forming water, this hydrogen and this OH will come together to form H2O. So our salt has to be between Ba and I. In fact, it's going to be barium iodide. And the chemical formula for barium iodide is BaI2. Notice that I've replaced the salt with BaI2. Now we have to make sure that this is balanced. Let's find out. We have three hydrogens on the left side, one from here and two from here, and we have two on the right side. We have one iodine on the left side and two on the right side. So right from the get-go, the atoms are not balanced. Then we have one barium on the left side and one on the right side. And finally, we have two oxygens and one oxygen. I'm going to start off by balancing out the iodines. I can do that by placing a two in front of HI. This gives me four hydrogens, two iodines, and on the right side, we now have a balanced set of iodines. If I place a two right here, I'll end up with two oxygens and four hydrogens. This equation right here represents our balanced molecular equation. Now we have to create the net ionic equation. And to do that, we have to write down the dissociated version of each of these compounds. Starting with HI, this dissociates into 2H plus aqueous plus two iodine ions. This compound dissociates into barium, which has a charge of two plus, also aqueous, plus two hydroxide ions. That's a polyatomic ion. This forms the dissociated version of this compound, which is Ba2 plus, plus two iodine ions in aqueous, and of course, water, which is a liquid, so that doesn't dissociate. 2H2O-L. Once you've written out all the dissociated versions of these compounds, we now need to get rid of the spectator ions. So you have to look on the left and the right side and see where there are similarities. Then you can cancel them out. For example, we have two iodine ions on the right side, two on the left side. We have barium on the left side, barium on the right side, leaving us with 2H plus AQ, that's this one, and this ion, two hydroxide ions. This yields two molecules of water, and if you want to reduce this, notice that each of these chemicals has a two in front, so if we divide the equation out by two, we'll end up with all of these chemicals without the coefficient of two. And there you have it. That right there represents the net ionic equation. If you'd like to see the answer to question number two, make sure you watch part two of this series and I'll show you how to come up with the molecular and net ionic equation.